Hi, my name is Chris Vest. If you're on a Mac and you're writing some Java code and you're benchmarking it and you would like to know how efficiently it is using the CPU caches, how would you do that measurement? First of all, we need a benchmark that will exercise the code we want to measure. And I have one here. And then we can use instruments to sample the CPU counters as it goes. Uh, here we go. So we create a uh, counters trace. And then we configure it to sample the the L2 cache things here. It's also an L3. Not interested in uh, in that. All right. So we have that configured. Now it's ready. For the benchmark itself, I'm using the Java measurement harness. And by default, it is running 20 warm up iterations and then 20 measurement iterations. And each iteration takes one second. So that will give us a good 40 seconds to attach to the process as it goes and do our sampling. So I set it off and I've configured it to just have one thread and just do one fork. So when it ends, we the, uh, the instrumentation will stop automatically. Uh, these are sorted, so it's always the top one under the system. That's the process we want to attach to. And then we just press record. And here we have it. That's the uh, call trace. Now, a Java process has a number of threads. And uh, that's a main thread, that's a watcher, and two Java threads here. And one of them is the actual measurement itself. So, it's one of these Java threads, and it's probably the uh, the busier one of them. So that has been, uh, let's see, maximize this window. So this one has not been doing a whole lot. Let's try the other one. Been doing even less. Right. So it is this one. All right. It's done about four and a half million cache accesses, and three million of those were misses. And about a million of those were instruction cache misses. And looking at the, uh, interestingly, we see that uh, this is where I attach the process and the performance barely takes a dent. So uh, that's surprisingly good. Yep. That's how you do it.